Let's review decimal hopping for your homework using our handy dandy decimal hopping chart. First you have to think about where are we starting. So in the Doritos chip example we're starting with milligrams. If I want to go to grams I have to find them on the chart. Milligrams is here and it's three hops away from grams. So I find the decimal point and I go one, two, three hops in the same direction of the chart, in this case to the left, to find that 48,370 milligrams is 48.37 grams. If I had that zero here, that would have been okay, but I didn't need it. If I want to take these grams to kilograms, I'm at regular grams, and it is three more hops to kilograms, so I would keep going, and that empty space would get a zero. So 0 0.04837 kilograms is the same as 48.37 grams. For another example, we could talk about 400 meters a lap on the track. If I wanted to switch to kilometers, this time I'm starting in the middle with regular meters going to kilometers three hops to the left, because that's what I do on the chart. So I find the decimal point, go three hops to the left, 0.4 kilometers is equal to 400 meters. If I want to go to centimeters, I have two options. I can start at kilometers and five hop it all the way over to centimeters from here, five hops. That would be a lot of work. Or I can start at meters and go two hops. It's the same answer either way, and given that I'm a little lazy, I'd rather start at meters and do two hops and fill them in with zeros. 40,000 centimeters is the same as 400 meters. So this is from your homework. You have eight questions. Remember question three is a measurement. Question four is converting your number three to centi from centimeters to meters. Question five, you have to get them into the same units before you can add them because eating is adding. Question six, it's a volume problem, so you've got to multiply the numbers that are there. Question 7 is a little tricky. Check your paper for help. And question 8 is regular decimal hopping. Good luck, and if you have trouble, find me in homeroom.